We are on the workflow studio page which has a new tab for triggers. This lists all the pre-saved triggers that can be used in flow designer. The user can click on new and create their own custom pre-saved trigger. The user can define a name for their trigger. I'll be writing down new issue created in Jira. And uh, whenever the, the basically the idea is whenever the new issue is created in Jira, I want to uh, I want to trigger my flow. The type of trigger would be event webhook for this scenario. Uh, just as a description, I can write in whenever an issue is created in Jira. I select the application to be the Jira spoke and the event source that is out of the box is pre-selected for me. And I click on build trigger. Here, I land upon the trigger definition screen where I can see the event source details. I can click on view full details and look at the authentication details and other additional details of my event source. In the next section, that is the parser section, I can define the trigger output. That is all the pills that are coming incoming uh, from the external third party. I can define the request headers or the query parameters for any additional information. For output, I'll be defining this as output and I can type in any label, but just for the convenience adding in this output here. In the next section, we have the body parameter that is the JSON body parameter coming from the third party application. For this demo, I've pre copied it and I'm just pasting it here. Once I have the JSON body that I copied from the third party application, I can click on visualize objects. This basically converts all of the script into a more readable format. I can look at all the data. I can choose to drag and drop the objects for my convenience and more better formatting. The next session that is the condition can add a layer of condition on top of data that is coming from the third party. All of the pills here are coming from my parser section, including the output header parameters and the body section. I'll add a condition that says that summary contains, for example, let's do test or just let's just select a pill. Let's select the status name. Let's do issue fields and the status name. So whenever uh, the summary contains the status name, which has a predefined word called test, I want to add this condition. And I also want to add another condition that says I want that my issue status name is to do. So here I have defined in two conditions. One that says that summary contains my uh, status name. And the second one says that my status name is to do. If along with a successful trigger definition, two of my conditions are satisfied. Only then my trigger would run the flow. So I'll just, I can save and publish my trigger definition. So I can save it for any of the uh, changes that I have done. And I can choose to click on publish, which publishes my uh, trigger definition. You can now use it in Flow Designer as the banner says. I can go to Workflow Studio, click on new and create a new flow. I'll type in the name as new issue in Jira flow and click on build flow. Here I can click on select a trigger, choose the right application spoke. So for me, it's the Jira spoke and I can click on the saved trigger that I just created. So we'll choose the new issue created in Jira. For any low code user who is on flow designer, they need not get into the complication of creating this huge trigger, huge and complex trigger. They can just come to flow designer and choose a pre-saved trigger from here. They can also choose to add more conditions on top of what is already coming from the pre-saved trigger definition. Just selected this uh, pre-created saved external trigger and click on done. 
the users can add any logic to the flow for this demo i'll just add a log to see that all the things are working fine jira flow i'll click on done here i click on save and i activate my flow now all of my setup is all done i have used my pre-saved trigger in a flow as well and my trigger definition is in place now let's go to jira and test all the things are working fine here in jira i click on create to create a new issue as you can see the status is already selected to as to do and i'll add the summary as test to do so this is the exact condition that we have added in our trigger definition here yeah we selected that the summary contains uh, the status name and the status name is to do and we had test as the prefix so for the summary we have added test as the prefix and to do which is the status name and we'll create uh, select create as soon as this issue is created as we can see the success message let's see if our execution has run or not Let's go to the execution logs and refresh this. As we can see the top execution new issue in Jira flow is complete and it has ran successfully. So this was the short demo for external triggers integrating with third party endpoints for webhook based use cases.